cohort analysis. So let's start with a short definition of cohorts. So by cohorts, we mean groups of people, events that share the same defining characteristics. In many cases, it's just a segment of customers. However, it also may be a group of customers who were acquired in the same month or through the same channel. So it doesn't have to be a segment in the sense of uh, having similar features. Cohorts usually have common characteristics and in the case of customers, common experience. As we said, this may be due to the fact that they were acquired in the same month. And cohorts are a great tool for helping you understand the results, disaggregate and see what's actually driving the business. You also notice that the differences and in this way you can learn a lot about the customers, your product, where is the best fit and what you should do. Now let's move to the general concept of the cohort analysis. So usually you would look at the behavior in time of different cohorts. Obviously you have to pick a specific KPI, map it, and then you can observe the differences. So this can be done in such a form where we simply map in time the behavior of uh, different cohorts. You can also present it in the form of a chart. And now let's have a look at a short example. So here we have mapped the conversion rates by cohorts and we have four cohorts. So new visitors, returning visitors, converted customers and returning customers. In brackets, you've got the number of people in each and every cohort. And again, we have uh, months above. And as you can see, we can see growth and the conversion rates for uh, most of the cohorts. However, we can see big differences when it comes to cohorts. So it seems that the conversion rate for cohorts returning visitors is much bigger than for other cohorts that we have got here. So this is one of the way to present this analysis and to try to draw conclusions out of that. Another one, as we said, can be a chart in such a form or preferably in a form where you can trace the lines. So either column chart or line chart. Now let's have briefly a look at the typical cohorts used. So as we said, it can be a segment defined using uh, demographics. It can be also a segmentation based on uh, geographic characteristics like size of the city, density of the population or being located in a specific country. We can look at a year or month of uh, customer acquisition behavior. So is it a first time user, uh, where he comes from, how often he buys, how much he spends. And finally, we can use a psychographic segmentation. However, this requires more information that would have to be gathered in some other way, because only by observing the customer would be very difficult to figure it out. As we have said in the cohort analysis, you want to track the behavior of a specific KPI in time by cohort. So we have to somehow pick what we want to present here in the boxes. And there are some usual suspects that I recommend considering. So first of all, you can look at the average transaction value, then time spent on the site or with the product, number of products bought, use per year, total sales, number of customers in the cohort, churn rate, percentage gross margin, and conversion rate. So as you can see, most of them are around the behavior of the customer or how much he generates for us, so how valuable he is for the company. Remember also that in the case of the cohort analysis, you want to observe two things and analyze them. So the difference between each and every cohort and the behavior of a specific cohort in time. And the third thing is you want to see whether they behave in the same manner. So you may have a differences which are caused by the product or you may have differences which are caused to something related to cohorts. For more on segmentation, check the presentation added to additional resources where we cover in details different ways of segmenting the market. If you want to go a little bit deeper into this area, you should find this presentation extremely useful.